Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Jeffy and this is my best friend Android the Chihuahua. Today we're going to be sharing with you guys a really cool soap project. We're going to be making a mint chocolate chip themed soap. This soap is going to smell amazing because we're going to be mixing two of my favorite scents. This is Mad About Mint by Nurture Soap and this one is a chocolate ganache from Brambleberry. The combination of the two should smell just like an Andy's mint. Teeny Buns here has also prepared some little embeds ahead of time. These look like teeny chocolate bars and they are gonna be the perfect topping for our soaps. I painted over the top of them with some mica powder so that they were extra colorful. We're gonna be using two different mica powders today. This first one is a shamrock green mica from Brambleberry. The second mica is going to be this cappuccino mica from Brambleberry. This is one of my favorite deep brown colors. To prepare our colors, I'm just going to mix our mica powder with a little bit of oil. And that's really going to help disperse out all of our colors. Now that we have our mica powders completely mixed in, I'm going to be excusing our chihuahua. That way we can bring out the lye water and mix it with our oils. All right, I have poured my lye water into my oils and now I'm going to stir it with this whisk. A lot of people like to use stick blenders for this. I just personally prefer the whisk. And I'm just gonna keep stirring this to a nice light trace. All right, now that my batter's looking pretty good, I'm gonna be pouring about one third of this batter into my brown container. Now I'm just gonna dump all of that green into our main dish. All right, and we'll give that green a nice stir. Next, I'm going to be adding in my fragrance oil. And I'm just going to be filling this mold about two thirds of the way with this green. To finish filling this mold all the way to the top, I'm going to be going back and forth with this brown color from a really high height, which is doing what is called a drop swirl. Our mold is not quite filled to the top, so I'm going to take our green color again and do just a little bit of a swirl on top with that. And this is just to make sure our mold is filled all the way to the top. So everything in the mold looks really good. Now we're just going to wait for this green color to get a little bit thicker, and once it's thicker we will ice this on top. This video is sponsored by Nosy. She said you can check out all of her cool new items on jeffyandchihuahua.com. All right, this is the top of our soap after a little bit of drying. Now I'm gonna be adding the pipe top finish. My first layer of piping went on kind of like little Brussels sprouts and I'm not really loving how it looks. So I switched out to a different pipe tip and I'm hoping this one gives us a little bit more dimension. That piped top looks a lot better to me. There's a lot more texture there, so I'm really loving this. Next, I'm going to be applying a little layer of this Shamrock Gold Sparkle by Nurture Soaps. And to apply it, I'll be using this little duster. And for the final step, I'll be adding our little chocolate bars. This is our finished bar. It looks really good. Now I'm going to be putting it in the oven. I've preheated the oven to 170 degrees and I'm going to turn that off before I put the soap in there and that'll just help us get some really good bright colors on the inside of this bar. I've unmolded our bar and now I'm ready to cut it. Normally I use a cutter for the entire loaf at once, but because these little guys are not exactly perfectly spaced, I'm going to be using a knife to cut this one. The inside of this bar looks insanely cool. Our swirl is absolutely perfect. These are the final cut of our bars. I'm really impressed with the drop swirl that we got. It looks absolutely amazing against that green color. I also really love that sparkling green top. It's a really nice complement to that deep chocolate color on the chocolate bar. These bars also smell amazing. I feel like I should be at a candy shop getting ice cream right now. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us for this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing for more videos just like this one. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.